to be careful here. Yeah, he's going to get put the set up the set up a twister. Yep. No way. No way. Oh, oh my so God, he's got them. That's, that's tight. tight. Oh, oh my God. Bryce Mitchell. Unbelievable. Bryce Mitchell has recently entered controversial territory after an interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour. But love him or hate him, there's no denying Mitchell is an entertaining fighter. Mitchell's upcoming fight against Edson Barboza at UFC 272 will be a real test of his mettle. Bryce Mitchell was born and raised in Arkansas where he grew up playing multiple sports. During high school, Mitchell competed in wrestling state championships and got his start in combat sports. Quickly, Mitchell racked up a professional MMA record of nine wins and zero losses. This helped Bryce be chosen as a competitor for the Ultimate Fighter Undefeated Featherweight Tournament. For tough undefeated, Mitchell faced fellow fighter Tyler Diamond and came out with a win by decision. Fighter from the Ultimate Fighter Undefeated. It's been a close back and forth fight. Very entertaining first round. I thought Mitchell started, uh, Mitchell finished strong. I thought Diamond started strong. Man, so much action in this fight so far. Working the kicks was Diamond, and Mitchell uses it as an opportunity to go for a takedown. Thoughts on what we heard from the corners in between rounds? I agree completely, but you, you can see the you can see that all the other guys breaking. He doesn't like the pressure. He doesn't like this. Do not leave anything to chance. Body lock and a takedown for Mitchell. I really like the timing on Mitchell's takedowns. Now the victories just keep on coming. In his next official UFC fight, Mitchell faced Bobby Moffitt at UFC Fight Night. Right in front of him. Oh, he's got his left arm clear. He's good now. And Moffitt now where he wants to be as he and Sue's control on top. Bryce attacking the triangle. Oh, the triangle. Oh, yeah, he's always good Bryce Mitchell. He's got to get that arm across. Oh, Moffitt's in trouble. Moffitt's in trouble. Moffitt's in trouble here. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Mitchell's got that. He's a tackle on board now. Mitchell stringing together submission attempts. Moffat's in a lot of trouble now. Bryce Mitchell's going to attack the long ball off the triangle. Trying to roll Moffat to his back. It was hard fought, and by the end, Mitchell came out with the win by unanimous decision. This earned both fighters their first Fight of the Night award. Next up, Mitchell made UFC history when he went up against Matt Sales at UFC on ESPN. Pop wow, slides it in, waits for his opportunity. He threw that body triangle on it, but he threw it on the side towards the mat. So you see Sales and he drawn triangle here. Nice right. job by Sales defensively, one minute in the round. Yeah, Sales is missing opportunities there. Every time he turns back into him, he can take a high crotch. It's presented himself, but he's not taking it. He's gotta be careful here. Yeah, he's gonna get put he's in the set up a twister. Yep. No way. No way. Oh, oh my god, up. he's got them. That's tight! Oh, 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 my God! Bryce Mitchell! Unbelievable! Sean Selby gets a checkbook out right now, baby. I think you're writing $50,000 for Bryce Mitchell. Mitchell won the fight with a twister submission in the first round, becoming the second fighter to earn a victory with a twister. This earned Mitchell plenty of accolades from performance of the night to Sherdog's submission of the year. Mitchell then faced Charles Rosa at UFC 249 and yet again showed complete dominance in every round, securing a win by unanimous decision. Charles Rosa aligned with MMA kickboxing coach Roger Crawl two fights ago. He wants hands oh. in this round and we're already on the canvas. He went late right that. to a twister position. Look at this. I mean, He's right got back the legs locked position. up in the back. I mean, this is where he left him off in the last round. But to do that straight from the takedown shows you how polished his technique is. Mitchell then moved on to UFC Fight Night where he faced Andre Feely. Fight of the night in Nashville. This is what Andre needs to do. He needs to keep his back off the fence. He needs to keep on the feet as well. Well done, Bryce Mitchell. Beautiful takedown. Yeah, nice. Back and forth. Nice right hand from Mitchell. Oh, he's in deep on this one. And another one. Seventh takedown unofficially. Once again, Mitchell won this bout by unanimous decision. Mitchell is currently undefeated, but we'll see if that all changes when he faces Edson Barboza at UFC 272. Who do you think will win? Got opinions about Bryce Mitchell? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.